This was a fun, special season. And coming out here to Philadelphia with Chuse Shasky was a special experience. It was a lot of fun. I liked the heckling before we got to the party. <laughs> All right. We, we walked around Saturday with the Ishka uh, oh, yeah. Bibbles. Cheesesteak. Unbelievable. And people were friendly. Oh, you guys are going down tomorrow. You guys flew all the way out here to lose. Yeah, now you had a couple of SUs here and there, but friendly smack talk. I expect that, which was which was awesome. I respected it. There were yeah. some really good Eagle fans, and then you had those nerds in the parking lot who knew that if we touched them, we were going to end up on the internet. Yep. we couldn't do that. Like Canceled. so, it, it was it was it was a wild well, wild scene. By the way, the Texans and Forty ers defensive coordinator D'Amico Ryan's could meet as soon as this afternoon uh, as he handles his San Francisco responsibilities. If all goes well, a hire could be finalized. Tuesday or Wednesday, he's their top candidate. It appears a homecoming is on its way to happening. That's per so, Ian Rappaport. If I'm D'Amico, why do you want that job? I don't know. But, B, if they have to go outside of the organization to get a defensive coordinator, that's probably what I would do as opposed to elevating someone. When they lost Robert Sala, right. they brought up D'Amico, mm-hmm. and he was kind of like a guy in waiting. I don't know. Unless Chris Kosarek wants to be that guy, right. I don't know if that guy's internal. Yeah, I don't know. And he, let me just throw another thing at you. Would you be open to a scheme change? I wouldn't mind a 3-4. But does that mean Bosa has to stand up on the edge? I'm just asking out loud. I, I, I like a 3-4 defense. I'm just asking out loud. Then you got to draft another linebacker. you got to get a linebacker who come off the edge like a Bud Dupree did back in the day with the Pittsburgh I Steelers. I'm, I'm open to anything. I'm not married to this. If D'Amico walks, I, yeah, I'm with you. Listen, get the best coordinator right. possible. We'll uh, find the roster. And let's, be, and let's keep it a buck. You're in your nickel defense like 60, 70% no, of the time anyway. No doubt. No you know, doubt. So. No doubt. You're 100% correct on that. And, and but the, and the other thing we didn't we talk about needs the Jimmy Ward thing. What he said in the locker room at the end oh. of the game. Ah, uh, Spadoni. Let's go to Bay Rob. Uh, Spadoni. If you got Jimmy Ward sound, I want to play that on the other side because I it did not sit well with your boy. Uh, let's go to Bay Rob first in the Bay Area. Bay Rob, he's back. Bay Rob, what's up with Bonte and Butcher Boy? What's up, hey, baby? Boy? I'm hurting. Man, yeah, we hurting, but you know what? We had a good season and everything, man. I ain't got too many complaints, man. I know things happen and stuff, but uh, I'm my honey, my honey gripe with Shanahan. Shanahan did a great job for what he had. My honey gripe with him is not throwing that flag, man. Mm-hmm. That flag was big. That changed the whole perception of the game. Like if we get that flag, they gave us our, they gave, they gave us their best shot on that first run. They tried to play us on that fourth down. We stop them, get off the field. It's a whole different game, but. A lot of stuff we talked about that we was worried about during the season. McGlinchey over there, he got chewed up. I'm oh. with y'all on Ken Law. Got to get rid of him. We've been stressing about a big receiver that could go down the field I know. and mm-hmm. catch the ball. I know. And some things we got to address, I believe we go get back. We go be all right. We good. But the Philadelphia fans, they is trash, bro. I went out there a couple years ago when we played Philly. Even We thumped them and we won. And we still almost got into a fight. I'm talking about we 20 deep. And we got one dude trying to bring up all this commotion over a game that's at the beginning of the season. They fans is is a mess, man. So that's one thing within itself. But uh, we we gonna be all right, man. But we gotta address these problems. I think we gonna be back. It's all good, you know. What I'm yeah. saying? It's a part of football. But these, oh yeah, another thing. These referees got to do a whole lot better. I felt like they got a whole lot of calls in their way. And if you look at this whole game, go look at what Philly did. Jalen Hurts only had. 120 yards. I know. I, I, it was, was nothing special. Yards, well, right? no. I, I would say the one thing that Jalen did really well, be was by time. He did by time. I thought that he made a really nice touch pass on one where he was like scrimmaging. And that that this goes back to you don't have a speed guy. And mm-hmm. so when things break down, Bosa's not tracking nobody right. down. Armstead's not tracking nobody down. I thought Charles Amani, who played a really good game yesterday. He did. Um, but they need one guy coming off that edge with the speed, the closeout D4. speed. This is where D Ford. You know, this is why they traded yes, for D4. hundred percent. Exactly why they traded for him. So you need one but of those they guys. Miss that guy. And everybody's looking for that now. Everybody in the league. I thought the Eagles bringing in Hassan Reddick. It was this genius. And move. Baldy brought this up last week, and I never knew this. And you see it up close and personal. When the Eagles go to that five man defensive front, they're humongous. They're humongous. They eat up so much space, and then all of a sudden they know the weaknesses are in linebacker mm-hmm. court, and you don't even get to their no, linebackers. No, no. <laughs> so, they were in the backfield, and like, and McCaffrey would boom, boom, two yards, and I'm going, oh yeah, that's like a nice five yard run. No, that's a one no. or two yard run because he had to break three right. tackles in the backfield. Let's go to uh, a kill in Dublin. A kill. What's happening what's up, during the roast? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, uh, you know the. You guys talked about it. That loss to the Rams and the Chiefs 
Those losses are devastating, and there's a lot of unanswered questions about whose fault it was. Yesterday's loss, we we all know what the problem is, so it's easier to accept. It's been a hell of a season. Mm-hmm. We all know what the weakness is. It all comes back to the offensive line, especially that right side. All right. Call us back, man. Your phone connection went out. Let's, let's go to Eric, Eric and Hayward real what's quick. Up, Eric? Eric, what's happening? You're on the rose. What's going on, Bonte and Butcher Boy, man? I just want to give out a big ass shout out. You guys went out there and wrecked the red and gold. You guys were out there, baby. But what happened to my boy, Butcher Boy, at the end? He was wearing a gray shirt, baby. What's happening with that? That was a great 49ers shirt. Yeah, and it, B, how much beer did I get? Yeah. I literally changed. We got back to the hotel, and I told B, I got to change all my outfit. And I changed mm-hmm. my whole outfit and went up to the to the room. Everything was just drenched. Mm-hmm. You do, you, don't have, you have no idea, bro. And I was wearing a Jerry Rice shirt afterwards. <laughs> Eric, go ahead. Finish up. You your boy. Also, I want to say, I just want to see what you guys are saying. I just want to say, what happened to our bread and butter, the running game? That's it, baby. There was nowhere to go because they knew well, the run was coming because you couldn't throw. Yeah. Well, you it, literally it, couldn't throw. Yeah, they were going nine in the box at some point. I mean, literally, they knew the passing game was done. George Kittle was wide open. On the flat. Right before the play before Josh Johnson fumbled, he couldn't Kittle even. was wide open in the flat. And he couldn't even. Now, granted, he was looking left, looking left. You just turn around to the right. You dump it off to Kittle. He had somebody in front of him who could yeah. turn into a lead blocker. That play's going for at least 40. It's a huge play right out of halftime. You're right back in the game. And... We always discuss George Kittle being a tone setter. When he makes a play, it gives that team extra juice. You never got one of those pop plays from George Kittle yesterday. No. You couldn't because you no. had no quarterback. Well, you never got a pop play from Debo Samuel. Josh hit him on like a 13-yard out on that one first on that same down. drive. Yes, that was one throw. He had one good throw. I can't believe we're talking about Josh Johnson in the NFC Championship game, B. Josh Johnson. B, when NFC I went to training camp, there. it was like, okay, there's Trey, there's Sudfeld, you know, there's, there's Purdy, Brock. there's Jimmy Thorne on a small field. Josh Johnson, he was here for like six weeks. Josh Johnson was playing quarterback in his and I and I okay. It showed how delusional Niner fans are because I'm one of them and I'm right there with you. I was screaming at UB because I was so desperate. I think you have to go to Kyle Yuschek here. Like, for I what? said you have <laughs> to go to Kyle Yuschek in the NFC Championship game. Bonte, I couldn't believe what I was saying. No, I, I was just I you was, were looking at me going. Josh Johnson is playing quarterback in the <laughs> NFC Championship game. And I'm not trying to knock the guy. I'm just saying, like, that's uh, where we were at. I thought Fred Warner Jr. was going to be out for the game. He was down, kicking his leg. I said, dear God, already? Fred Warner Jr.? Bosa survived that game. He was out, in and out. But, Spencer Burford was out. Yeah. It felt like for half the game. I know. Half the game, he was on Every, the sideline. Everybody was hurt. Everybody was jumping like flies, And man. that's because they're big and physical. Like, I'm, I want to give them the appropriate credit. Like, Miles Sanders ran hard at times in this game. Boston Scott had his opportunities. But their offensive line up front and right. on the edges, they blocked yep. really well on the edges. All right, two things I want to get to uh, before the injury report. We also got Adam Ryan and Patrick. We'll get to them in just a second. But I want to get to Jimmy Ward and Trent Williams. Oh, my God. First, let's get to Jimmy Ward, who I thought had a very good game. Mm-hmm. But he's always hinted at, hey, they haven't paid me. I feel like the writing's on the wall. We always talk about Draymond Green saying things. Yeah. Jimmy Ward has done this all season long. I want you to listen to this clip yeah. of what Jimmy Ward said after the game. A great team player, man. I said that, great team player, because I think that's that's who I was and that's what I was. That was my role there. And I think I took advantage of that. And I feel like I made plays wherever they picked me. And I dealt with injuries. All throughout my career, and I bounced back. Resilience, man, at its finest, and proved a lot of doubters wrong. I'm still gonna prove some more doubters wrong. Uh, it's just who I am as a person, you know. I was kind of <laughs> born and well raised in adversity uh, through tough times. So going through this, if the end of being in the NFL, getting paid millions of dollars to play football. You know, people all in your DMs telling you you suck or you're good. You're oh, you're awesome, and then come back. Oh, you suck, and this and that. If that's tough times, like that's that's sweet. That's easy for me. I've been been in real hard life situations. So, like I said, I I feel like these the Forty Nine is gonna have a great team next year and years to come. And they got some some great players in this building and great coaching staff, great GM, great owner, and they they know what they're doing. So. I'm pretty sure they're going to be in this position next year as well. I, I mean, be I, read the room a little. Like, I get it. I know it might be your last uh, opportunity to talk to some of these reporters and all that, but, like, 
Like what you say in the microphone is going to be chopped up and distributed mm-hmm. no matter what your intentions were. Like, come on, man. You got to read the room a little. You, me, I. like here. And, and then saying they, they're going to have a good team next season. I believe they have the good structure. They have a good GM, a good coach. They. Started using they. Well, and let's let's take a like, step back. Come on, like, Jimmy. He he don't look at I I from his perspective, he might feel like the Niners owe him something or whatever. I look at it the other way. I'm like, Jimmy, you were a combo safety corner coming out of a small school. The Niners took you. You weren't very good at either position for a long time. And we could blame coaching and scheme and the mm-hmm. roster and all those things. And then when this particular front office got in charge, you started to showcase yourself. Right. And they paid you. They paid, they you. paid you really well. Right. And you know what? They found you a position at free safety mm-hmm. and you balled there. Then they needed you to play slot corner, and you balled there too. In fact, you had your most successful season this right. year at that in terms you of interceptions. Really well, at nickel corner. really well, and you're gonna get paid at some point. Like I get it, you're frustrated and angry. Read the room a little in the locker yeah. room after you've lost in the NFC Championship I, game I, the way you did. I, I get you want to keep it real. I get that too. But but then in that locker room, right after that beatdown in Philadelphia. You lose 31-7, to seven, and you're talking about they're going to have a good team next year. And I played well. And I played well. Well, and I then, played oh, well. well. Oh, that wasn't a catch. Oh, so I did play well. And they called the pass. Oh, yeah, I played well. Hey, Bonte, our, our, when our ratings were good. I know our ratings weren't good back in uh, back in the day, but I did well. Right. <laughs> you slap me. I gave takes. I gave great <laughs> takes. My takes were good. It's a bad look for like, him. Like and I like Jimmy because I thought I like Jimmy that. played his heart out, and I thought he was a good player for this team. And I'd love to have him back. I'm, I'm going to make that very clear. I'd love to have I'd him back. I'd love to have him back, too. But, man, that's a tough look for him. It, it is a tough look. Um, Trent Williams. <laughs> Trent Williams, man. And we were out the stadium by that point. We had to leave early. And let me tell you something. The ga- One of the ladies who works at the gate were walking out of the stadium and the panic on her face saying, <laughs> guys, get out of here now. You're going to walk straight and make a left. Be safe. Get your Uber. Hurry up and get out of here. It's like, what? I the White they- Walkers are coming? <laughs> Ooh, like, they like, were the White right, Walkers. Yeah, I mean, they were. I mean, come on, man. The literal oh, White Walkers. We'll get to the Uber driver in just a second because oh we have a great God. story about that. That was that, maybe that the was, most. Uh, so, so wow. Trent Williams dipping that Eagle player. Look, it's not the best look in the world, but damn it, I rock with Trent Williams. You never heard the Chris Rock? <laughs> I don't condone it. <laughs> But I understand. I understand <laughs> it. And he went out there and dipped him. And he was looking for that smoke. Oh, yeah. He and Big Church frustrated. They're all frustrated. And, 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 you know what? And the Eagles are showboating. They were talk, They were talking a lot. Their players, their fans. That's a cocky bunch. I'm pulling so hard for Mahomes. They throw for 500 yards and five I'm touchdowns. Here. Please. Please. Andy Reid, you're please. our only hope. <laughs> please, Andy. Get your revenge against the city of Philadelphia. Please, Andy. Please. All right. Let's get to the calls again. And then we got an Uber story. For the ages. This is how sick it was <laughs> oh out here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, let's go to Adam in Philadelphia. Right here to 215. Adam, what's All happening? Right, You're on go. the roast. What up, Philly? Yo, buddies. How are you? Listen, first off, uh, great game le- yesterday. Now, are you guys in Philly? Yeah. You're saying you're yeah, we're, yeah, we're at right WIP here. right 94 now. 94 WIP. And I'm wearing my, my Niner sweatshirt. 2400 Market Street. There you go. So, really quick. Hammer, Richie, Seltzer. We did it, baby! Now, okay, first off, you got to stop disrespecting us. us. You know, us fans, we ain't that bad. No, your fans are, suck. You know, we're your fans past suck, past Adam. Stars. Your fans suck. They stink. They suck. I had 65-year-old old man telling me, F you, you're a little... Call me the F word. Go back to Castro. Yeah, da, 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 da. Like, 65-year-old old man. Like, Throw I hot dog at us. your ass, Spitting you old man. Me. I, I mean, mean, come on, man. Like, dude, it, it's like... Have some class. If that happened at Levi's, you know what the you know what the general tone would be around the country. Like, get out of here, Adam. You're a clown. Uh, let's go to let's go to another Philly guy. He's a Niner fan, though. Okay. Patrick, what's up, Patrick, Patrick? What's happening? You're on the roast. Patrick going once, going twice. He, he gone. gone. All right, let's get to the Uber story. Because the lady <laughs> at, the, at Lincoln Financial <laughs> Field, gangster Uber driver of so all time. We're out there, Ivan. Ive, Ryan, Hef, Worldwide Hef, Tyler, who we met from yeah. D.C. He's yeah. a roaster. Yes. He's living in D.C. Yes. right now. And We're all white walking out together. Fred Warner jersey. Niner fans walking out together, yeah, right? Yeah, we, we had to get out of there. This lady goes, guys, hurry up. I'm going to tell you where to go right now. <laughs> I felt go like Go straight it... left. The White Walkers are coming. <laughs> you need to just get to the bunker immediately. <laughs> like, the panic in her face. <laughs> like, uh, So the Uber driver waits for us, and she was a real one. Oh, real well, we gave her maximum tip. Oh, yeah. Shasky, we get into the Jeep, one's in the trunk, 
And then she got us as close to the hotel as possible. And when we got a block away from the hotel, Shasky took it away. Because what happened then was just insane. Okay, so we're going down this, like, these tiny little one-way streets. And we're all packed into this car. Your boy, uh, Ryan, is in the back of the trunk of the car. And the car stops. We can't go anywhere because they got it barricaded. And she's like, you know what? The hotel's two blocks out. Well, you guys just get out and go. We got out. B, we took how many steps? <laughs> Five steps. And this girl runs to Ryan Throws him to Chest double bird him. in his face. F you. F you. That's all they say out here. Yeah. F you. And double middle fingers double in the middle face. Double middle fingers. F you. You're an mf -er. You're a vagina. All this stuff, right? And so Ryan's like, yo, you better get up off me. So the girl <laughs> comes out with her purse. and goes, I keep the heater on me. And goes, get back in the car, get you guys. Get back in the car. I'm going to get you home safe. The Uber like, driver gets us back what? in the car. So we get back in the car. We lock she the doors. She also hates Philly fans, yeah, by the way. Yeah, she does. And then she gets out of the car. She goes, I'm going to talk to the police. We're going to get you that at the Double Tree Hotel. Yes. So then we drive through the street <laughs> we, with no, a police we were stuck. escort. We're like the stuck zombies there. are yeah. all around us yeah, surrounding we us. Stuck. We were sitting ducks. They're banging on the windows. <laughs> the cops got to clear us through. We had 40 steps to go. 40 steps to go. And I and, and it, it was as bad as I've ever seen. They were throwing, yelling, cussing, swearing. <laughs> Thank God we got into the hotel safely. Oh, man. Now, I did throw some shots at some people before we got into the hotel. You know, I had to talk my talk. But, like, if you're going to talk trash, be a little creative. Talking trash and not saying, F you, well, it's, you're an mf -er. It's not even, they weren't even saying the Niners suck. They were just saying, F you, get out of here. It, you it, suck. You're a this, you're a that. Like, that's not trash talk. Yeah. Those are fighting words. It's just, and none of those dudes can fight. It, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm Joe Frazier or something. Oh, we were going to a football game <laughs> to support our team. And they're throwing things at us. I felt like it was medieval times, the way we were walking in and walking it, out of that It was thing. embarrassing. It really it, was. They're shameful. They're a shameful well, bunch and, of and humans. And honestly, shame on the broadcasters that work here yeah. who call themselves classy, who have families, because they, like, lean into it, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's just passion. That's just passion. That's not yet, passion. Yet if a bunch of white, Asian, black, and, and Latin fans for Niner fans did that to anyone, they would be on the cover of CNN tomorrow. No doubt. And we'd be saying, look at these thugs no and doubt. these gangsters. No doubt. I mean, a guy, I was proud of Niner a fans. guy asked me, and I didn't even know this. He goes, what part of Camden are you from? I didn't even know what that meant. I didn't even know what it meant. Yeah. I didn't know what it meant, but apparently it's like where all the black people live, and uh, it's a, you know, it's it's a hood that, or whatnot. But, I don't but know. Say, that was like 75th, 75th on the things that I heard. And I got to say, I love you. They were coming at you so hard, and I felt, I felt yeah. like... I tried to hold you back on numerous occasions, <laughs> and I'm proud of you that you didn't react because nah, it's, you, it would have canceled the both of us. We would have been fired on the spot. No doubt. And and some of these clowns here at 94 WIP, we walk in. That's just how it is here. You guys you guys asked for it. I was like, man, screw you. We checked every single person except for Hugh Douglas and Seb Joyner. They're two big time linebackers. Yeah. They're buff. But, Hugh, to, but, Hugh, Douglas, but Hugh said, yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're insane. You got to just ignore it because yep. they just want to say that they enticed you to do something. Like Joey Bosa was like, who are you doing? Snapchat your butt buddies? Like, they're coming at Joey Bosa. Coming Joey, Joey Bosa, Bosa with, with the camera kick out. Your ass. With, with the, the camera, camera out. Because the, the, they're looking for the reaction they're looking for so the they reaction can say, ah, I got you. And put you on bar stool and go viral. Yeah. I'm going to tell you joke. this right now. I'm going to tell you this right now. For the rest of my life. I will hate Philadelphia. It's for the, the rest fans. of my life. The city's dope. The, the city's city is, nice. I've met some great people. There were a lot of great people. But there are so many bad eggs that ruin it for the yep. entire bunch. Yep. No, the, the you know. <laughs> and I also get it now. Right. I know why Steiny's the way Steiny is now. I get it. But there are a lot of softies. They're fake tough guys. I'm not calling Steiny a fake tough guy. There's a lot of fake tough guys. Joe Fordball had the bravado. He went, all of a sudden, he's tough. All of a sudden, he's from the Philadelphia Eagles. He never wore Eagles gear. In the in the time I worked with him in 95-70 game, I've never seen him in Eagles gear. So we're, ever. we're sitting in 116. We get down to our seats, row four, and this guy comes up, like, I don't know, like 10 minutes before the game. He goes, right. hey. Are you two guys sports radio guys from San Francisco? And Bonte goes, Yes, we are. And we're talking, and there are all some cool fans around us, right. some really cool fans. He goes, I listened to that thing on uh, the crossover that you guys do, and that was absolutely hilarious. He goes, I can't believe you told the Philly city of Philadelphia <laughs> where you're sitting. I was like, Why? Why not? It was I'm great. right here. Exactly. I'm not going anywhere. And we sat there the whole time with our gear on. And we took it. We took it. We laughed. We took it. But Philly's Philly fans are a joke. Joke. All these clowns around here at 94 WIP. And trust me, Shaska and I have told everybody in this building how much they're, how, how big of a clown it's, they it's are. It's low life. They're low life. It's very low life. They're a joke. And the, the, the worst part about it was we met some great right. people. Some really great people. And no, and no, the young and, man and who listen. was getting into journalism, the young man behind us who was getting into journalism, who's about to finish right. up his, I mean, him and his father were great right. people. Great diehard fans. Right. But there's some bad and, ones. And, and there's some people saying that fading balls in your heads. No, it's not. We just clap back. 
We didn't re- he looked for a reaction all weekend. He's he tweeted at Shasky, folks. Nonstop. He tweeted at Shasky, and this is how it started. And we didn't say anything. But he tweeted like Shasky tweeted about the city being nice. I like love the architecture, it. Loved it. the food, everything. And he claps in and said, Oh, look at Shasky being all nice before he gets beat up tomorrow. <laughs> Who says that? That's that's what you're coming with? First of all, Shasky's not getting beat up tomorrow. We're not gonna let that happen. Not the way we marched yesterday. No. But who are you to say that somebody's going to get beat up at a football that's, game? That's 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 your your bully tactics to scare it. Like, oh, you're going to get beat up. Ha ha ha! You're proud of that? These guys are a joke out here to two hundred five. And I've told everybody in their face here at WIP that they are a joke. Clowns. Let's get back to the lines. Eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero. Let's go to Scott in Hillsboro. Scott, what's happening? You're on the road. What ropes. up, Scotty? Morning, guys. Uh, Morning. It's, uh, about eight o'clock here in the West Coast as you know, Mm -hmm. and it's surprising that you're not talking much about the way that the defense really lost their class. I mean, it started with Hufanga pushing Hurd out of bounds. That was cold-blooded. And then then Greenlaw punching the ball like that. That's that's like Bush League. And and they panned over to the coach. I agree. The coach says, the coach says, he's trying to get the ball out. Like, he he lost control of his defense there. And and then it ended with Trent Williams, uh, you know, throwing that guy down. It's just like, come on, man, let's keep it together at least. If you're I, I'm with you on that, but keep I, your class. I, I'm with you on that, and I know that they're frustrated. But man, you gotta when you're losing, how you act as a loser is very important. You know what I mean? Like you gotta show better sportsmanship yep. in class. Now I know it's the pros. This ain't CYO. I'm not trying to pretend, but I, I had a tough time. B, what did I say when Hufanga pushed him late? I said, I'd probably throw him out of this game. Yeah. I literally said that. I, I probably would because mm-hmm. you could get that guy hurt along the sideline with all the cameras and everything like that. Like, I thought that was a bad look from the Niners. The Dre Greenlaw thing, there's no – I mean, I know he's trying to punch the ball, but that's not punching the ball. That's that's not football play. Right. That's not a football play. You're, you're doing, like, Ken Norton Sr. <laughs> right. roundhouses in, <laughs> into the tide boat body. Like, what are you he doing? What are you doing? I don't know what What are you said. doing? I would love to hear from Trent I didn't Williams. like that. I don't I know what dude him. said. I'm with I don't him. know what was thrown. I don't know what was grabbed. But obviously, he ticked the hell out of Trent Williams off. He ticked them off. And he got ddt Flags are everywhere. Bits is cleared. Trent Williams ejected from the football game. Just a rough day to be a 49er fan. And a rough day to be the 49ers as they lose their second consecutive NFC title game. And we got all offseason to talk about the offseason. Today's not the day. Today's all about reacting to the game. What went wrong? Mm. What could they have done better? And there's a lot of things that could have done better. One, keep your quarterback healthy. All right, block Hassan Reddick. All right, let's let's try that one. Maybe not get your quarterback hurt. All right, it's just um, yeah, it, I, how I, did, I, how did we start off? Trey got hurt in week two. He's still in a walking boot. <laughs> still in a walking boot. Jimmy got hurt in what week thirteen? Yeah, the Miami game. Okay, Miami. Jimmy game. got hurt week thirteen. He's over here. Or whatever I don't, week I don't that know. was. Week twelve. All week 13. these these screenshots of him smiling on the sideline. I'm not I, mad at these guys. Like right. you could take anything out of context. Whatever. People want to be outraged. I'm not outraged at Jimmy Garoppolo, but he's still hurt. He's on the sidelines. Brock Purdy goes in. Six plays in. He gets hurt. <laughs> Fifth play of the of, of the of the third quarter. Josh Johnson goes down. How? 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 And How? then people are mad at Shanahan. How? How did you even get this far is the question I have. How? Without Shanahan, you don't even get close to this. Name nah. a team in the history of the NFL who's winning multiple games no. with their third string quarterback. We just saw the Philadelphia Eagles play with Gardner Minshew. Jalen Hurts got hurt for two weeks, and the Eagles could do nothing. I know. Nothing. They got they got beat up by the Saints at home with Gardner Minshew. And look, that was their second string quarterback who's got NFL experience. I know. I know. I, it's just, eh. and now everyone's coming back. You should address three. I mean, I guess you should address three. I don't even uh, know. I don't like, like B. I don't who's even know. out there. I don't even know who's out there. I don't there. even know who's out. Yeah, who would it be? I have no idea. No idea. No clue. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to Ryan in the city. Ryan, what's happening? You're on a you're on a roast. What's up, guys? What's up, hey, Ryan? What's up, guys? I just want to say uh, I'm kind of mad at our fans that are saying fire Shanahan and all that. Because I am too. Come on, dude. We got a fifth six. Yeah string quarterback what do you, i mean i get it i get cmc throws juice throws but what if they get injured who are we going to blame so yeah that's that's, that's, that's idiotic that's and idiotic that's I'm, just I'm dumb actually, i'm actually kind of happy about our fans too about how they treated cowboy fans a couple weeks ago and man these philly fans man you guys i'm, I'm just gonna say to you guys philly fans suck i was like stink. you guys beat a fifth string six string quarterback what are you so proud of 
So that's why I'm rooting for Mahomes in the Super Bowl. I can't uh, believe we're here. To just get off my chest. Yeah, I, I'm I the can't biggest... believe we went full well, circle from hating the Chiefs to now we're rooting for them. You know, I told myself yesterday I wasn't going to watch the Super Bowl. I was going to take baby Chaz to the zoo and go do something else. I'm lying to myself. I'm watching the Super Bowl. I know we are. I said the same thing. Yeah, to you. I'm going to go golfing. Yeah, no, yeah right? Right? we're watching the Super Bowl. And we're going to be bitter about it. And I'm praying that the Chiefs offensive line can contain the Eagles front and to slice them up. I need to just go sign Odo Beckham Jr. for one game, please. Go. Is he healthy? I don't know. Sign, sign him. Is Pacheco healthy after Pacheco. watching the end of that game? Is Juju healthy? I don't know who's healthy is after that game. Tony healthy? I, I, I mean, please. And Chris beat Jones, the Eagles. please, dear God, have a game. Have the game of your life. Uh,